Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to have 100 babies. We also do quests in this challenge and the daily quests can either earn us money or lose us money. So for today, we need to provoke Greg and we get double if we win the fight, which we probably won't. I don't even think Paris can actually fight him since she's pregnant. So we might have to use Selena. Uh, Greg will attack teenagers, but I'm not sure if he will attack Selena because she is not a werewolf. We'll have to experiment with that. So basically, we need to get some money right now. And I think all of the kids are sleeping. We have Quinn who just needs to babble and then he can age up. Selena needs to go to high school and do all of the things for her teenage years. Trinity and Clover are both children. And today is Sunday, so no one's really going to school. Oh, we sold everything like right away. That's rare. Oh, finally, she's transforming. Now I can get rid of some of this rage. And of course, she can't even regain control. And Quinn learns to babble, which means we get to age him up. Happy birthday, Quinn. Let's see if you can blow out your candles and actually age up this way, because I have not had very much luck with it. Oh, and Quinn is going to be independent. Well, let's see if we provoke Greg, if he'll actually attack a non-werewolf. I know he attacks teenage werewolves. Well, it looks like it's promising. Yep, he will attack you. Okay. Normally, adults in The Sims cannot attack teenagers or fight with them or flirt with them or do anything like that. But for some reason, Greg seems to be an exception. And of course, we lost. Oh, right. And now she has werebees. Um, how should we deal with that? I know that we were planning on curing all of the ones that didn't have the werewolf aspiration, and she does not. I think you can, like, try to get rid of it in other ways, too. Okay, that's all you had to do, basically, is throw up in the toilet. Oh, Paris has gone into labor, so it's time to have the next baby. Will we get a boy? Will we get a girl? I'm not sure this time. It's a boy, and the name is going to be... Sesto. Just one baby. Paris and Felix had one baby. Alright, let's find another baby daddy. Uh-oh. Hopefully, Selena, hopefully Selena was trying to hack her grade lower because that's what she ended up with. Maybe she should hone those hacking skills a bit more. She's now a C student. I did not tell her to hack her grades. Selena, what's wrong with you? A tiny home makes it so easy to get baby daddies. I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together um no but i'm gonna say yes i'd love that and i'm just not gonna move him in because i don't want any hurt feelings i'm still trying to get pregnant so it's the end of monday and we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 31 percent 31% of 3,255 is 1,009 simoleons for a total of 4,264 simoleons. Now, stop being hysterical, Paris. That's not good. We need to go. No, don't welcome new member. Come on and <laughs> try for a baby. Hopefully I can get her pregnant quickly because hysterical is not good. Now for the next quest, we have to license a song for piano. And I don't have a piano and no one has any piano skill. I usually don't succeed at these if I have no skill whatsoever because I'm not sure what level you have to be. I think it's like 
level six or eight or something really ridiculous. I don't think we can do it in a single day. Besides, where in here am I going to put a piano? Okay, finally, she's eating for two. All right. She's not going to die of hysteria. All right, we are good friends with Sesto, so we're going to age him up into an infant. Happy birthday, Zesto. You're going to be a calm infant. Now, the way this works is we try to get Sesto up to being a toddler in the three days before the baby is born. Um, not sure if we're going to make it this time because I think before I actually gave myself like maybe four days so we may have sesto still an infant when the seventh baby is born of course quinn is also still working on his toddler skills but i don't think it will be a problem to have two toddlers i just really don't want two infants and then paris is supposed to spend all day today working on her piano skills so yeah, this is going to be difficult. Oh, the activity slots on the treehouse. So the activity table, since it slots on the treehouse, I am allowed to put it outdoors. I wonder if any of the pianos slot into the treehouse. Probably not. I know the guitars do, but I kind of doubt the pianos. Oh, I forgot we have these upright pianos now. That's a little bit better. I might be able to fit one of those inside. No piano, but you can place a gaming mat on a treehouse. All right. Um, yeah, I don't see that really being... And why a build and blocks table? I mean, the kids can build it and play with it, but it's really meant for toddlers and toddlers cannot go in a treehouse. Well, I guess we're just going to put the activity table up here and maybe we should get a toy box because we have so many toys and they're just lying around everywhere. All right, I think this works. We actually have a piano inside and we were able to keep the trash can and everything else so yeah now the only thing is we need to not be playful so maybe we'll get an inspired potion all right we did reach piano level two and sesto did smile let's see how quickly we can raise our piano skill luckily she is a creative genius so it is going up super fast Okay, she's piano level four. This actually might be doable, maybe, if I could just write a song in time. Hey, Paris, it's me, Derek. Do you want to go out on a date? Uh, no, thank you. We actually are done with you. Sorry, Derek. And we already said we wanted to be friends. Why did they do this? I keep forgetting that we're actually in a tiny home, so that's why this is so easy to do. Well, luckily, our little girl Clover needs to play an instrument for five hours so she can play the piano and we didn't buy the piano for nothing, even if we don't manage to get this quest done. Okay, she can now write songs. All right, let's write a song really quick. It's going to be too late, though. All right, it's 10 p.m. and she is only maybe 30% through this song. Yeah, it just takes way too long to write a song. She's not going to make it. Okay, now she's level 9, so she can officially license a song. But it's 10 more minutes. Not going to make it. Oh, well. If she ever has to license a song again, she will have one ready. Okay, so we have to spin the losing wheel, and we get 69%. And 69% of 3,053 is 2,107, for a total of 946 simoleons. And for our next one, we need to increase our fame to the next level. So Paris has no fame. She could get fame by finishing that song, and this should be pretty easy. 
All right, we barely finished the song in time. And let's see if we license the song, if it helps our fame a little bit, but probably not enough. We're so close. Maybe we can add to our Instagram story a couple of times. Come on, hurry up. And no, I think this is a failure. This was supposed to be easy. I thought it would give us the entire first star, but it, apparently it doesn't. It just gets us really, really close. So we have to spin the losing wheel and we get, oh, only 5%. Well, that's not too bad. That's only 57 simoleons for a total of 1,084 simoleons. Well, it almost wasn't worth doing, but I think that it will actually earn us some money. So we're allowed to do things that earn us money as long as it's one of the quest things. So normally I will not be able to license a song because Paris makes money through selling werewolf items. But because she was able to license that song, we should get some money over the coming week. And our next quest of the day is to play at a splash pad with at least one child outside of the household. Well, that might be difficult considering it's the middle of winter. Oh, it's Winterfest, and I think Trinity is actually able to age up now because she's a creative genius and she has high confidence and an A in school. So yeah, let's forget about doing homework. And today's a day off of school anyway. So do we have a cake left? Happy birthday, Trinity. Okay, she's going to be mean and a horse lover. Right. And she's going to have the master chef aspiration. A genius wall mount TV. Well, that's a good Christmas present. To be honest, I don't think it really fits in here anywhere. And if I put it in the bedroom, the only place with wall space, uh, it kind of clips and she won't be able to sleep. So I have an extra bedroom here because Trinity has to be indoorsy. So she can't sleep in a tent. This is going to be her bedroom. It only has a bed and a box in it right now. And then this is kind of the baby room. It has the infant stuff and the toddler bathtub, the high chair and the bassinet. And I didn't give Paris a bed. So I took out all of the tiles that were in here so that I could add a bedroom for Trinity. And then Paris is just going to have to sleep outside. I don't know what to do with this wall mount TV that I got from Santa. Um, I guess we could get rid of this one, but I, I'm, I'm thinking that we don't because I kind of like this one. It goes on top of this little dresser here. And I don't think that there's anything else that I could really put in that space. So this TV is kind of worthless. Oh, is Quinn, or sorry, not Quinn, is Sesto getting a milestone? And Sesto laughed. I'm not sure if we can give a bath in this small little area, but we're going to try. Okay, Quinn has reached movement level five so that means we can age quinn up now i almost sent trinity to sleep in the tent but no trinity has to sleep in her bedroom and happy birthday quinn blow out the candles and quinn is going to be outgoing and a creative genius why hello santa would you like to be a 100 baby daddy oh wow that really filled up their romance bar completely. Well, this is going to be easy. Nibs. What? Okay. His romance bar is full, but apparently he does not like women and he rejected me. That is weird. Why do I still have romance? Well, 
Not really? Okay. I do not like this game sometimes. It's just weird. How did my romance bar get all the way full if you are not interested in romance with women? Well, we didn't manage to have a splash pad event because it was in winter and I don't think the splash pads work. So we have to spin the losing wheel and we get 0%. Okay, well, so we just keep our 3,894 simoleons. And the next quest we have to do is watch a puppet show while everyone is playful. And Paris has gone into labor. So that's not good. She's not going to be pregnant. We've got to get her pregnant real quick before we do the next quest. Now, teenagers actually cannot die from being hysterical or any other emotional death. And I actually used to not know that. I thought they could, but they can't. It's because of the parenthood uh, emotions they get. They get very, very angry or very, very embarrassed almost all the time. And that would not be good if they died from emotional deaths. And we had a baby girl. So this is baby number seven. And so that's a pretty good name for a girl. We're going to call her seven. And we still have an infant. So this is not good. Okay, what milestone are you getting now, Cestus? Please tell me. Yes, sit up. That's what we want. We didn't even have to practice sitting. Um... It's happening. Reese Tanner is so utterly smitten with Paris Sparks that he is proposing marriage, but you won't romance with women. This game is completely messed up. No way. Sorry, we had to reject you because you don't like women. What? Why did you even ask? Okay, the problem is I have the lot trait Grody, and I can't keep them all playful. They get so uncomfortable. So I think I actually managed to do it, but no, don't go hunting. Watch the puppet show, please. Even though it is now past midnight, they are in the middle of watching the show. And the only reason why they get up to do other things is because autonomy is broken. I told them to watch the show. Don't do anything else. Okay, no, Paris, you cannot go hunting. So I'm going to count that as a win for today. And we spin the wheel and we get 53%, which is another 2,463 simoleons for a total of 7,110 simoleons. Now, the next quest says to buy a llama and become Max friends with the animal. Um, that is going to be super difficult. And yes, since 4Rent came out, I have added the mold challenge to this lot because we are supposed to have all the lot challenges except for Spooky. All right, we are going to age up seven because we are good friends with her. And then we're going to go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of llama treats because I have no idea how we're going to be able to do this. Maybe Selena can be the one to do it because Paris is going to be too busy with two infants. And seven is Wiggly. Okay, everybody go. You have about 30 minutes to get in there and get out. Llamas are very stubborn, but we're making some good progress. The friendly treats definitely help. Okay, that's it. We're max friends. All right, we don't have to socialize with the llama anymore. Okay, if we can just get Sesto to stand, then maybe he can age up to a toddler and we can only have one infant. What happened there? Is, the, is this chair not accessible? Oh, he's trying to go inside to the inside chair. Why? I guess I'm going to just have to have all of the chairs outside if I want them to learn how to stand up. Oh, and he now he picks the other chair. Why does it do that? I mean, I get that he needs something to pull up on, but it should make sure that he has a route to get to the one that he needs to get to. It's just so annoying when he does that. Okay, just to be sure, we have pincer grasp, we have standing, we have sitting, 
we have babbling. Okay, those are the only requirements I have for aging up. Happy birthday, Sesto. And you're going to be wild. Okay, let's try potty training you right away. Well, we get to spin the winning wheel and we get, oh, 98%. So that's another 6,467 simoleons for a total of 13,066 simoleons. Now the next quest is to adopt a teen and become best friends. Well, that costs a thousand simoleons and also gives us another slot in the household because we don't count adopted children as part of the limit but it will increase the household size for everyone so the munch family may have more babies because of that but so far the new couple have not been having any babies at all oh trinity found a money fruit in the dumpster well she can't earn money through dumpster diving. We're just trying to find food and I tried to find a meal and instead I got money fruit. And it's New Year's Eve. Oh, and we did adopt our teenager. Alex Sparks is in the tent and yeah, so he was just a random sim. I took whatever the game gave me and randomized all of his traits, and he wants to become a spellcaster. Okay, so we get to spin the winning wheel, and we get 20%. That's another 2,487 simoleons, or a total of 14,924. Now it's the end of the week and Paris just recovered from her latest transformation. Everyone else is in bed and we're just taking some time off and being a little bit chill for a while. Oh no, Paris is about to be attacked by bats. Okay. Well, she's pregnant. She can't die. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.